Hi guys, so for this hat, we'll make a circle, we'll put our hook through it, chain 3, we will double crochet 9 more, So that's a total of 10. We will tighten in the yarn and we will slip stitch. Chain 3. Double crochet in the post double crochet in the stitch double crochet in the post double crochet in the stitch Double crochet in the post, double crochet in the stitch, and we will do that for the whole row. Slip stitch, chain three, double crochet in the front post, double crochet in the stitch. Double crochet in the post, double crochet in the stitch,
Chain three. Double crochet in the front post. Double crochet in the stitch. Double crochet in the front post. Double crochet in the stitch. Do that for the entire row. Okay guys, so when we get to this point, we will slip stitch. Chain three. Then we will go in the stitch here. Double crochet one. Then we will go in this one in the post, double crochet one, double crochet one in the stitch, double crochet the next one in the post, remember no more increasing Double crochet one in the stitch, double crochet one in the post. Keep doing that for the entire row and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay guys, so on the next row we will chain three. So on this row we will crochet in the post all those that have been crocheted in the stitch 
and we will crochet in the stitch all those that have been crocheted in the post on the previous row. So I will show you. So this one has been done in the stitch on the previous row, so we will double crochet into the post for all these. Like that. This one has been crocheted into the post on the previous row. This one we will do a double crochet into the stitch. So again, post, stitch. So keep doing that for the entire row and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay guys, on the next row we will slip stitch in the front of the chained column. Chain 3. And then on this one we will double crochet into the stitch. And on this one we will double crochet into the post. So whatever we did on the previous row, on this row we'll do the opposite. Because on this one, we double crocheted into the post on the previous row. On this row, we will double crochet into the stitch. And on this one, we double crocheted into the stitch on the previous row. And on this row, we will double crochet into the post. So double crochet into the stitch now. Double crochet into the post, double crochet into the stitch, double crochet into the post, double crochet into the stitch, double crochet into the post. And we'll keep doing that for the entire row. Okay guys, so on the next row we will chain 3. Double crochet 1 in the post. Double crochet 1 in the stitch. Double crochet one in the post. Double crochet one in the stitch. So we will keep doing that from now on and I will check back with you later. Remember you are double crocheting in the post for those that have been double crocheted in the stitch on the previous row and you are double crocheting into the stitch for those that have been double crocheted into the post on the previous row. Okay guys, so after you get to this point, you turn your hat inside out and then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thir
23, 24, 25, 26. After we finish 26 rows, like this, now it's time to do the headband portion of the hat. So what we will do is go in the back of the chain post, grab the yarn, slip stitch, chain 3, yarn over, go into the post again in the front, double crochet, go in the back of the post on the next post and double crochet, go into the front of the post, double crochet, Going to the back of the post, double crochet, and we'll keep doing that for an entire row, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, guys, so on the next row, we will repeat the same steps. We will double crochet in the front of this post like we did in the previous row and then double crochet in the back of the next one like we did on the previous row front of the post back of the post front of the post back of the post and we will keep doing that for this row and three other rows so we already completed one this will be our second and then we'll need three more and then the hat will be finished okay so just keep repeating the same steps and I'll check back with you later okay guys so once we get to this point and we've finished the five rows here for the headband portion of the hat. We'll expand our last stitch and we will put the hat through it. Cut the yarn, lose the ends, and this hat is ready. Okay guys, so this is how the finished hat looks like. Thank you so much for watching. Please share and subscribe.